the science of dissemination and intervention. And um, and it's a free conference, so it would only be the cost of getting there and housing, which is substantial. But um, I, I'm looking for this will be my first time to go to that conference, and I'm really looking forward to go and talking to other people who are really trying to do this. Because so much of what we do learn and we do measure isn't something that really translates into useful findings in a community. And NIH also has several calls now, and a few other organizations I've seen, for um, that really require authentic community partnerships. So I, I think you're going to start seeing more across the next five years. So keep thinking along those paths, and hopefully the funding streams will um, will follow that will allow us to do more work in this area. Okay. Are, are you familiar with the Community Campus Partnerships for Health? No. Uh, University, I think it's University of Washington, but Google Community Campus Partnerships for Health. Community Campus Partnerships for Health, okay. Yes, and they have some phenomenal resources that help think about these authentic partnerships, both for, um, a, a lot more of them are, are related to medical schools and all doing community work, but I found a lot of their resources to be very helpful in other ways. They have some measurement tools, and there's a listserv that people are always sending emails out asking these exact kind of evaluation questions mm -hmm. that you're asking. OK, thank you. You're welcome. That's great, Jane. Um, could, you, um, could you make me a nice list of uh, these, all these resources that you provided so that I can uh, make sure to include that with the uh, slides and the recorded version? Absolutely. Let This has been recorded. It'll be available along with the slides, and 